Welcome back to GoSycamores.com. High atop Rocky Top here at Neyland Stadium. The Volunteers knock off Indiana State 42-7. Fritzy, you can look at the score. You can even look at the stat sheet to an extent, and it will show up as an overwhelming Tennessee victory. But don't let that fool you. There were a lot of positives today for Indiana State. Yeah, there were things to take away that were good for the Sycamores. Saw Cade Sparks make a nice touchdown pass to Jaquet McClendon. Really liked the way the team came out in the second half after being down 28 nothing, forced to turn over the offense, took advantage of a short field. You know, we saw the Sycamores today defensively continue to get pressure on Tennessee's quarterback, just like they did with Eastern Illinois' quarterback a week ago. There are good things this football team's doing right now. You just continue to move forward and hopefully improve on some of those, you know, building blocks that you're putting in place. I think one thing to remember too, Coach Mallory told us after the game was Tennessee's a darn good football team. Don't lose sight of that. And which I think leads you to say yes. I think to me the biggest positive, even though there, there are multiple in this game, that defensive front seven, we knew that was going to be a strong point. Well, we're really finding out after two weeks that that could be the part of this football team that could really make this a special season. Yeah, and that's good to see for those guys up front. They're, they're doing a really good job, and, you know, any good defense is going to start up front. I've also been impressed with that depth along those units. I think it's better than it's been uh, in some other recent years, and I think that's something that's going to show up and play out, you know, over the course of, a, you know, the whole 11-game season for Indiana State. Offensively, you know, Tennessee had a size advantage up front, saw the Sycamores really try and utilize a lot of jet sweeps, a few counters today. Would expect you'll see them, you know, get back to more of what their offense maybe looked like against Eastern Illinois as they move forward against other FBS competition going forward. Last week was a gut punch to this football team. Today, they get gut punch right from the beginning. But they didn't let that deter, deter them from really the rest of the game. That was Coach Mallory's biggest point out of anything was this team continues to stick together. Next week, they're going to have to continue to stick together because guess what? Schedule doesn't ease up any at all. And you talk about that togetherness. If you're going to build a good team and a good program, everybody's got to be together. you got to have people on the same page, everybody pulling on the rope in the same direction. I know that's what the coaches are wanting to build. I know that the players are buying in. And, you know, just looking forward to seeing what the results are going to be, not only over the course of this season, but also, you know, three, four, five years into, you know, Coach Mallory's time here at Indiana State. I'm just glad I can hear you without headphones on right now. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of nice now that the stands are empty behind us, and uh, I think Rocky Top will be ringing in our ears on the ride home, though. <laughs> no kidding. It was a heck of an environment. Final score, Indiana State Falls at Rocky Top, 42-7 to to Tennessee. Until next week at Memorial Stadium, getting you caught up on practice with the Sycamores before they head to Liberty. My partner, Brian Fritz, I am Luke Martin.